summer and vacations for everyone, yes, even for the royal family. The Daily Mail confirms that Queen Margrethe has sailed south to Denmark to enjoy a vacation at Grossens Castle in Sonderborg. Given the recent conflicts within the Danish royal family, this could be a much-needed vacation for the 83-year-old monarch, the final ribbons have been cut. The conflicts arose last year when Queen Margrethe decided to strip all of her grandchildren of the titles of prince and princess. The new change went into effect on January 1, 2023 and caused much anger among many in the Danish royal family. Margrethe spoke about the rift that arose between her and her son after the decision was made during last year's New Year's address and noted that conflicts and disagreements are natural in all families, criticized it Prince Joachim. The prince's reaction to the decision was a major cause of the alleged split. Joachim has been living in Paris since 2019 and has now decided to sell his large luxury villa in Klampenborg as he and his family plan to move to the United States. With this decision, the prince is severing his last material ties to his homeland, which has sparked new rumors of a potential rift in the Danish royal house. Make their lives easier. Royal expert Klaus Johan Larsen told TV4 last year that when Queen Margrethe's decision had just arrived, he thought many people had gotten used to it. First of all, I think people should go out and read not only what is in the newspapers, but also what is on the websites of the respective courts. For that, it is clearly written that it was decided a few years ago that parts of the family cannot afford the homestead, says Klaus Johan. Thus, he meant that the decision was made several years earlier and that it was about giving members of the royal family who cannot afford financial support the opportunity to earn money in other ways because they are not allowed to work as princes and princesses, says Klaus Johan. They have to get a steady job. They have to make sure they can become regular entrepreneurs, maybe even politicians if they want to. But you can't do that if you are a prince or princess of the Danish royal house. So you make it easier for them by removing these things. So Klaus Johan thinks that abolishing titles is a way to preserve the patrimony and allow royals to make their own money by being part of the royal line of succession.